everyone so today we are doing a very exciting video in this video we are going to be trying on arguably the most beautiful dresses I have ever seen in my entire life how's that for a statement wow. <laughs> now this has been a super highly requested video as you guys can see by the title today we are going to be trying beautiful like gowns you can't even call these dresses at this point like this is a gown I don't know what the difference between a dress and a gown is well I guess I'll tell you A gown sounds like so much more luxury, and that's what this is. Today we are trying Tuota Matoshi dresses. Now I knew I was gonna wreck it as soon as I said the name. So I pulled up a video to try to figure out how to pronounce the name correctly because I don't want to say it wrong, but I don't know if I got the guidance I need. Obviously this is a different language. Tuota Matoshi. Now you may possibly be thinking thinking, hmm, Matoshi. Where have I heard Matoshi before other than Tuuta Matoshi? And you're probably thinking of Larika Matoshi, another beautiful brand that you see so much on Instagram, on TikTok, all over the place, super colorful, super beautiful. And I immediately, of course, thought that. So I did another search. And in Tuuta Matoshi's, Tuuta Matoshi, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. In Tuuta Matoshi's bio, it gets into that relation a little bit. So apparently she's currently in New York City where she sells her gowns with her sister Larika Matoshi who is also a designer so like this is a power duo you guys they both have their own brand they both make beautiful items and they're sisters so like I can only give a round of applause and the respect I give I give it. Now I'm expecting really, really big things from these dresses because the product pictures are absolutely stunning. I will show a few on the screen right now. These are fairy tale princess gowns, you guys. Like these are stunning. And there's so many different styles. You get like a fringe looking dress, then you have like a butterfly floral dress. There's just every magical dress on this website. Also, just so you guys know, this video is not sponsored by this brand. I got everything with my own money. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just really excited. So I have this huge box. I got about five or six dresses, I believe, and I ordered it about two months ago. They're basically made to order, I'm pretty sure, and I think that's why it takes a while from the time you order it to the time you're gonna receive it, because as you order it, then it starts being designed, which is pretty cool. That being said, I really can't say too much positive about it just yet, because I haven't put on any of the dresses. I haven't seen them in person. I just have a really high expectation. So I think without further ado, we will dive into these dresses. These are not inexpensive dresses. So let us dive in to this haul. I'm so excited. We've got the Futa Matoshi tissue paper. I can't wait. I can't be delicate. I don't know why. I just feel like I should wash my hands before touching these dresses. Okay. The first dress, this is a beautiful muted blue color. Like, I'm sorry, I can't see a modern day Cinderella dress not being this dress. And I always say this, you guys, there's like expensive soft feeling tool and then there's a inexpensive more scratchy tool. This is so much tool and it's all so soft. Okay, but what is under here? Is this gonna be like a short looking dress and then has like sheer tulle over top? I guess we'll see when we try it on, but like it's kind of like a sweetheart neckline and then it has all this like embroidery and beads and flowers. Definitely a very beautiful, very extra dress. I just can't wait to see what it looks like on. Hopefully it fits. Hopefully it looks good. Let's put it on. I'm like kind of freaking out right now, you guys. This is like so beautiful. And like it fits me like a glove. Look how big and poofy these sleeves are. It's not just one poof of tulle, it's a second. Everything feels so comfortable though. I think to look at this, it would be like, oh, it's a little bit uncomfortable. It's like kind of tight, blah, 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 blah. No, it's like 
so comfortable. Also, what I was saying about there being a fabric underneath here, kind of in like a mini skirt, that is in fact what's happening. I just have like a bright blue mini skirt on, but then you throw all of this tulle over top and it just looks so luxurious. I can't even believe somebody designed this and like made it by hand. The talent, the craftsmanship, I applaud. I, it's beautiful. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, this yellow one. I remember this one so well because I was like, should I? And I was like, yeah. O M G. You're kidding me. This is the cutest. Okay, I'm yelling. I need to stop. You know what else I'm kind of noticing though? Do you guys remember my Etsy prom dress video I did not too long ago? And all the dresses were like A-line dresses? That's I feel like what's gonna happen with it, I kinda remember seeing that, like most of the dresses are in A-line style. I get it now, I understand. Okay, but here is this dress. The skirt is so, so full of tulle and it has this beautiful tulle on top that has all these soft little polka dots on it. And then every so often there's a little flower put on. The top is really, really stunning. I think the sleeves are supposed to fall off the side, but I think you could also wear them up if you wanted. One other thing about this dress that's really pretty that's kind of hard to show and you'll probably see it more when I try it on is the skirt has a little bit of detail near, near the bottom. It's all the same and then it poofs out at the bottom a little bit more. I don't even know what this is called. It just looks cute. You'll see it when we put it on. Okay, first of all, ignore the redness. It's from the last dress. I don't know, it doesn't, it didn't feel itchy, but now my skin's kind of like, but whatever, that's not what we're talking about. We're in a beautiful dress and let's talk about it. Now I will always say yellow is a favorite of mine, but yellow and my skin tone don't complement each other very well. Also, I'm wearing black underwear and you can kind of, <laughs> here's how it looks from the back. Try to ignore the fact that my dark underwear is showing through. Also for anybody who's actually thinking about buying any of these dresses, just for a size reference, I got all these dresses in a size two and they just fit like they fit like an absolute glove anything smaller I would not be able to take a full breath in so just as a size guide if that helps at all look how pretty that is like I just think that's such a cute detailing I just think this is such an adorable dress I would love to do like a photo shoot running through a field in this okay I gotta do a spin check There's a lot of skirt there. Oh my goodness. This one was the one that introduced me to Tuota Matoshi in the beginning because you guys kept sending me this red dress on Instagram. So first of all, thank you to everybody who sent me this dress because I feel blessed to have it. But like, take a look at this red gorgeous dress. Oh, it's so soft. This has like the same tool as the last one with little polka dots, but this time the polka dots are like a really, really soft to touch velvet. I don't have any red dresses like this. This is beautiful. It has the same detail as the last one, but it comes up a little bit higher on the skirt. And the sleeves, you tie them into bows. This feels like a different velvet than the rest of the dress. I wanna see the tag. Why haven't I seen the tag? A cute gold tag. So if you have seen this specific dress on Instagram and wanted to see how it looked, let me throw this on and we can finally see. First difference in length that I'm seeing, this one is is actually not like a classic mid length. It's just a little bit short and I'm pretty sure that is on purpose because the rest of them have went right to the floor and I am wearing heels because I want to show these dresses off. Sometimes when I don't wear heels you guys are like wear heels. So I've learned. I'm wearing them. And the two other dresses went right to the floor. So I think this one was made to be a little bit shorter, which makes sense because it does give it like a different, a little bit more casual vibe. This is another dress that I thought was going to be a little uncomfortable, but like it is so, so comfortable, you guys. Like an A-line style is just so comfy. Like there's no problems with sitting. There's no problems with dancing, spinning, jumping around. Like, and I can't look at this dress without thinking of Valentine's Day. The only thing that would make this better is if these little polka dots were the little hearts. I just love how bold this red color is. Here it is from the back. This is so beautiful. 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot about this dress. This one is a little bit different. Also, it's got the same mesh going on and then a more opaque 
skirt in here. And then also we've got the sweetheart neckline and this is like a very, very thick fabric that will really hold you in. And then over top of that comes a mesh piece right into a turtleneck. And if you guys know me, you know I absolutely adore turtlenecks, let alone a beautiful lavender mesh with these little flowers that look like butterflies or something. Turtleneck. We've got to try it. And like the light purple, I love it. So let's put this one on. It feels very nice and soft, but all of the dresses kind of just look like huge pieces of fabric until I put them on. Then they look like a couture dress. Don't even try to tell me that Effie wouldn't kill this dress in the Hunger Games. Anything that she'd wear, I love it. This is so beautiful. Like every single dress like tops the next and the next and the next and the next. The one thing though is I did think this was a mid-length, but it is in fact a full length with that like mini skirt situation happening. Like we've got the mini skirt under here and then all of the tulle over top. This tulle is beautiful. Like it looks so whimsical. It looks like it has like branches through it with these like could be flowers or even like butterflies all the way throughout. And then the mesh comes up and it like flares out into the most beautiful turtleneck that I've ever seen. Like this makes me feel so special. This would be an amazing wedding dress. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Yeah, I love this one. I think this one's probably my favorite, honestly. I know we have one more to go, but like, it's gonna be hard to beat. Okay, last but certainly not least, this light blue starry night dress. Now this feels way different than the other ones. This feels like it's, it's got like an actual, what is this called? I wanna say petticoat, but I feel like I said that once and got made fun of. So it's a petticoat. <laughs> like it's got lots of stuff in the skirt to make it poof out. I also think this is a mid-length one. And this is a very interesting fabric. It's like a mesh fabric and it's almost like a very thick, luxurious net if I had to explain it as something. And then it has these really, really beautiful crystals sewn on here. Like these are so beautiful and they go all the way down into the skirt. Based on the comments I saw on their Instagram, this is one of the really, really popular dresses. So I of course wanted to try it out. This dress is so beautiful. I feel like a broken record, but like, come on, look at this dress. Like, I don't know which would be better, the first one or the last one. Which one is the Cinderella dress? Like, oh, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I will say the skirt on this one's a little loud, as you can hear. It's a little loud, but it also has a lot more volume and like poof to it. So all that noise is like, making the look complete. Now this one is an honest mid-length dress. It's kind of hard to see with this camera angle, but like, I don't know how to show you. There's probably about this much of my feet and ankles showing. Is this one my favorite? I can't choose. I'm absolutely obsessed with the style, of course. I love a little extra poof, but I think my favorite part is just these big star crystals. Like I understand why this is a really, really popular dress because it's a fairy tale fantasy dress. Like it is beautiful and it looks just like the picture. I'd almost say it looks better in person. Like it really, really shines and shimmers. Okay, I feel a little shook up. These dresses, they surpassed my expectations. And you guys know, in the intro, I had high expectations. And like these dresses, I can't get over the idea behind them. They're stunning. The craftsmanship. I feel so, so lucky to have been able to try out these dresses. Thank you guys so, so much for requesting this video. It is so much fun to try things like this. Tu Tuoto Watishi. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm saying Tu Tuoto. Okay. To Tuoto Matoshi. It just doesn't sound like I'm saying it right. Anyways, I seriously can't choose a favorite dress. If you guys have an absolute favorite, make sure to let me know down below because I'm very interested to hear which one is your favorite. Hmm. I wonder why I'm interested to know. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!